A while ago, I showed everyone how to upload 10,000 images onto IPFS, a decentralized network for file storage. In that video, I showed people how to use Panata and then we pinned the whole 10,000 folder of images all at once. These days, that doesn't work that great anymore. And the reason is the files sometimes might be bigger than expected. I found a different solution for uploading larger files to Pinata and still host it here. And uh, I'm going to show you that today. Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Daniel aka Hashlips and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you the new way of uploading larger files with IPFS. Now, IPFS is a decentralized network for people who want to upload their files and store them in a decentralized space. IPFS also has an application for you to run a node of some sorts to host files as well. We are going to instead use Pinata like before, but this time we are not going to click on upload and upload the folder directly. Instead, we are going to go to the IPFS uh, website, go on installs, and then find the installation for your operating system. So click install IPFS for desktop and then wait and scroll down to your platform. I'm using Mac OS, so I'm going to click there. It will take me to this page. Then I have to click on this link and then simply find the correct installation file. I'm going to download the DMG file. There it is. And then I'm going to open it and install. Once you have your download, double click on it whether you are on Windows or Mac, just follow your installation process. Now for Mac, you usually drag the application over and then once you've done that, it should be installed. I'm gonna simply click on this and open it up. This is how the application looks. So next, you can click on the files tab over here. I'm already on it. You can check the status, explore the, the different trees and the nodes, as well as check your peers. But what we wanna focus on is clicking on this file section and actually creating a new folder for all that data. So the next step is to click on import and create a new file. I'm just going to call this my images. Once you create this, you can see a CID has been created already for you. And this will be on the IPFS network. But this is not our end destination where we want to pin it to. So basically, you can go here and uh, inspect it, copy it and all those kind of nice things but we want to import some data. So open this images folder now and get the folder where you want to actually bring those images in from. Now what I have over here is something very familiar. We have got images and JSON, something very well known in the NFT space currently where this is the process of uploading your NFTs. To see the full NFT process, rather follow the previous video that I've just mentioned on IPFS as well as my latest videos on how to start an NFT collection. This video, we're simply going to focus on how to upload large amounts of data to Pinata. So when you open the images folder, usually you'll see thousands and thousands of NFTs in the images section. Even though for this example, I only have about 20 images. But imagine you have 10,000 images. The process is still the same you're going to be uploading these in little bits and chunks and make sure that they have the green tick. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's imagine you have 10,000 collections or 10,000 collection where you need to upload all of the images. Start by selecting one all the way up to a hundred. Seeing that I only have 20, I'm going to select one to maybe five, drag them in and wait for it to upload. You will need to wait for the green tick here on the right hand side. Once you see this, you can go back and select the next batch. Maybe I want to upload 6 to 10 and upload them again. Go back and you'll see 10 images have now been added. You can also start doing larger chunks like even 500 or 1000 images at once. Make sure that you always get that green tick behind the images. Once you're done uploading everything, I've uploaded 20. You can go back to the files and then go and copy the CID by clicking on the dots and copying it there. Once you have the CID copied, you can now click on upload and instead of saying folder or file, you choose the CID. Paste it in here and give it a new name. 
I'm just going to call it images as well and say search and pin. What this will do is Pinata goes out and sees this pin on the IPFS network and pulls the data in slowly. Now, once this has happened, you can actually refresh your browser and you will see that there's a request that comes up in this space. There we go. Now, if we click on this, you can see that there's the CID that we just copied and the status is searching. Now this will change to retrieving and then once it's done, you will actually see your pin over here like you normally would. Then you can take that process of copying the CID and changing the metadata and again doing the same process. For metadata, you can probably upload it directly because it's not that big. I hope this was helpful and that you guys will have fun with this and that you can have great success uploading larger collections to IPFS. And that's how simple it is to upload larger files to IPFS. Now before you go, please give me a like and a comment in the comment section telling me what you liked about this video or what you would like to see in the future videos. I highly appreciate that and I'm looking forward to everyone's feedback. If you are struggling with the code or want to know more about what we do, you can go to hashtips.online and if you need some assistance, go to the actual Discord community. There's a lot of devs and artists and creative people in there that will help you on your journey. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Cheers for now.